Today, my friends, I have a really complicated salad for you, a classic Greek lachanosalata or a cabbage salad. Now, not to be mistaken with coleslaw, this is a very easy salad to prepare. It takes like no time. If you're like really, really slow, it may take you like 10 minutes, maybe. So I'm just going to move the outer pieces of my cabbage out of the way and gets us to the good stuff. Now, for my cabbage here, I am going to use approximately as much as it'll take to fill uh, my, my bowl, basically. And what I'm going to do is for my food processor, I'm just going to cut it up as well because I don't like really long strands of, of, um, of cabbage. In, in anything, whether it be a coleslaw or, a, or any other kind of cabbage salad. So, first things first, I'm going to take my food processor here, lock and load, get that going, and slowly just start putting these in there, nice and easy. And it is such a simple salad to make. It is really, really easy. And that's the last of my cabbage. So I'm just going to use for this about half a head of cabbage, which is a good amount. And I'm just going to throw it in my mixing bowl. I'm going to use one mixing bowl to do my mixing and then another uh, platter to present. And what I'm going to do next is start cutting up my onion. So I'm going to take half an onion here or actually one onion, cut it in half, get that going, Just get that in there. I personally like a little bit of onion in my salad, in my coleslaw or my lajano salata. It brings out a certain, uh, a really nice vibe. The next thing I'm going to add in here is my celery. And I like adding celery in a salad. I'm going to use the stalks of the celery. This is like really kind of small celery from my garden. Don't judge, it's organic. And I'm going to do the stalks in there first. Just cut them up just like that. And I'm going to use the rest of the leaves for garnish. Very, very easy. Let me put that in there. there. Perfect. I'm also going to take a little bit of parsley and the parsley, what I'm going to do is actually just chop it like not too, um, not too finely. I want to see that there's parsley in there. I like the mellow flavor of the parsley as well. So that's perfect there. I'm just going to put that in there, take this out and, oh, I got a couple of, uh, celery stalks that still didn't make the cut no pun intended not a big deal i'm just going to cut those up real quick take this stick it in there as well take this out boom so i've got my basically the the cut part of my salad already done so nothing to this at all so far very very easy now to start working on actually adding some pizzazz to our salad Take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I like pepper in just about anything, so a little bit will go in there. Perfect, just like that. In this case, I am using a lemon-based uh, dressing. Here's the thing with this. Traditionally or generally, Greeks do not, uh, do not make uh, pre-mixed dressings. They do in some situations, but in probably 80% of the time, they use lemon and olive oil, lemon and, and water or vinegar and oil, whatever. So I'm going to take the juice of about one lemon, depending on the size of it, and I'm just going to just pour it into here. And that's all you need is like the juice of one lemon. You want that kind of brightness to this. The next part is olive oil. And for this, I am going to go fairly generous. Uh, I'm going to do probably a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup 
of my uh, Greek olive oil and just get that going there. And again, you're going to see how this thing kind of reacts and goes as when you start mixing it. You don't want like a soupy, soggy salad, but you want something that's decent. And all I'm going to do is very lightly just get in there and just start mixing everything up. Very green, very, very green salad indeed. It doesn't take much. You don't have to like mix the heck out of this, but just enough to get everything evenly coated with the lemon, the olive oil, and spread the seasoning around like the salt and the pepper. All right, that looks fantastic right there. This cutting board has a story to it. In fact, I got a story for just about everything. This cutting board was made by a buddy of mine in Greece using the wood from some cutaway branches of my olive trees. He actually put this together. He planed it and kind of sanded it to do whatever, you know, whatever they do. And it is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous cutting board. I'm going to take my salad. I'm just going to plop it right on my board here. This just like that. Just let it go wherever. Not a big deal. This is absolutely going to be fantastic. When you bring this out to people and you present this, this is going to be like epic. So I'm going to move this here out of the way. I'm going to take a little bit of feta and I'm just going to really kind of break it up into chunks. And I'm going to just put it here on top just like that. I'm going to take some Kalamata olives, my own by the way. And I'm going to take these, actually let me move this on this side, and I'm going to just take some Kalamata olives, and I'm just going to place them right on the board here, just like that. This is almost like a, like, like a, a mezze board, and just let them go wherever, wherever they fall. Not a big deal at all. Let me get this out of the way too. So do you see where I'm going with this now? Look how beautiful that looks. One more thing, I've done some Greek sausages before. I pre-made these. It's not about the sausage this time, it's about the salad. And what I'm going to do is just take them and just slice them into just like pieces, just like that, and put them over here on this side. And just slice them right on the board, just like that. Now, on what planet does this not look good? And with three sausages, you literally, you literally are going to feed a whole bunch of people. You're going to have a presentation that they'll be like talking about for a while, just like that, here, perfect. This doesn't have to be neat or anything, but this just has to give them that essence of Greek culture and Greek Philoxenia and Philotimo, which is this, what this is all about. Let me get rid of this here. And that's what this is about. You can take some lemon and just throw it along just like that. And you, my friends, have got a, a platter that would be proud to be served anywhere. So that's it for this episode on my Lajano Salata. This is optional. You can do just about anything you want. You can use meatballs, like keftedakia. You can use different kinds of cheeses. Not that there are any other than feta, but the point is, uh, kalamata olives. You can use, like, you know, those stuffed manzanillo olives. Anything you have, it's your imagination that counts here. The important thing is, you throw in that lajano salata or the Greek cabbage salad. So, I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Love to get our community growing. Check for this recipe online at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, please be careful, be safe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.